Hello chess lovers welcome to our journey in the fascinating world of chess notation today we are going to demystify the language of chess making it accessible and fun for beginners so grab your chess board and let's dive in i am glad you are interested in learning chess notation which is the language of chess chess notation is a way of recording the moves and position of the pieces on the board it can help you to improve your chess skills analyze your game and communicate with other players It's a bit like the secret code of chess and once you crack it you will feel like a chess maestro. Before we jump into notation let's quickly review the chess board. We all know that there are total of 64 squares on the board and every square has a unique address. Each column on the board is called a file and each row is called a rank. So there are 8 files starting with the letter A from left side and going all the way to the letter H on the right side. Similarly there are 8 ranks on the board labeled with the number 1 to 10 in the increasing order so at the start of the game white pieces are arranged on the rank 1 and 2 and black pieces are placed on the rank 7 and 8 with the help of this concept of files and rank you can easily address any square on the board every square is named after its coordinate pair the name of the file will came first and followed by the rank name Let's learn this with the help of example. This square is in the F file and is on the rank number 7. So this square will be called as F7 square. Similarly, this square will be called as D6. The D denotes the file name and 6 is the number of the rank. This square is H8 and this one is C5. So in this way we can easily assign a name to all these 64 square. I hope you got it. Now let's move on. So there are different types of notation. But nowadays the most common and widely spread is algebraic notation. It is like the GPS of chess pieces. Each piece is represented by its first letter. K for king, Q for queen, R for rook, B for bishop and for knight letter N is used in place of K because we have already used the letter K for king. So N for knight. And for pawn we only use the name of the square where it moved. which means if i move my pawn from e2 to e4 then i will write e4 in the score sheet now let's see the notation of actual moves to write a move we combine the notation of piece and the name of the square where it moved the notation of piece came first and followed by name of the square where the piece moved let's learn this with the help of example if i move my knight to f3 then i will write n f3 which means knight moved to f3 square The first letter N denotes the notation of piece and the next letter F and number 3 refer to the name of the square where the piece moved. Also keep in mind that notation of piece is written in upper case whereas the letter of the square is written in lower case. Similarly if I move my bishop to G5 then it will be written as B G5. Easy, right? Now let's learn some special symbols that we use in chess notation. For every special move like capturing other piece, pawn promotion, check and checkmate, special symbols are used. Let's see all of them one by one. To show a piece capture, a symbol like small x is used between the notation of piece and the name of square. For example, if this knight capture the pawn on d5 square, then it will be written as capital N for knight followed by a small x for capture and at last the name of the square that is d5. The next is pawn promotion for which equal to and after that the notation of piece to which it is promoted to is used for example if this pawn is promoted to queen then it will be written as e8 equal to capital q now let's look at the symbol for a check if any piece gives a check to king then plus symbol is used at the end here if knight gives check to king then it will be written as capital n for knight followed by h7 the name of the square and a plus symbol at the end which denotes a check for checkmate a symbol like hashtag is used if this queen moves to c8 square then it will be a checkmate and it will be written as capital q for queen followed by the name of square and at last a hashtag symbol which denotes a checkmate the next one is castling which is represented by this for king side and this for queen side and there you have it the basics of chess notation With a little practice you will be fluent in this chess language in no time. 
If you enjoyed the video then please hit the like button and also subscribe the channel for more chess content. See you in the next video.